Hey guys, I'm really excited about this package that I've got here and I just want to show you what it is. Um, a little backstory about this, this box is from the Fed uh, and I'm told that the BC21 clarinets, the brand new ones that they just came out with, are inside this box. So I'm super excited to, to open them up. I haven't opened this box yet, but I wanted you guys to be a part of it. Um, a little bit of backstory on the, the BC21 clarinet. Um, uh, a few months ago they uh, released a promotional video and um, told us all about the instrument and of course there's a bunch of different things about it versus their other clarinets but the main thing is that this clarinet actually goes down to low E flat. Um, so it's kind of like the old full BAME instruments where you've got a little bit more range and some of you might be thinking oh that's not that useful but the really cool thing that I've experienced um, here at Rice Clarinet Works, we actually work on a ton of instruments and I've worked on a lot of the full name instruments um, that were manufactured in the past. And the thing I really, really like about them is that the lower joint really just has this nice depth to it. And so immediately when they released this clarinet, I was like, okay, this is going to be really cool. This is going to do something really neat for the lower register in addition to giving a little bit more range to the instrument. So immediately I was like, we're getting two of them. So I've got two of them in here. Um, uh, again, I haven't even opened this box, so I'm like super excited about this. Everyone here at the shop is excited. Um, so I'm going to open it up, show you the case, the clarinets, of course, um, and then I'm going to play them a little bit and give you guys some feedback. Um, so again, uh, we're Rice Clarinet Works. Uh, we specialize in like all things clarinet. So repairs, overhauls, maintenance. So uh, we do a lot of manufacturing, which you might hear in the background. Um, and uh, we also of course carry brand new instruments, both Buffet and we've got Royal Global as well. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to open this thing up and tell you guys what I think. So here we go. Alright, they've got all kinds of tape on here and they've also got staples, so this might take a bit of work. There we go. Here's the bill. I'm sure it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Alright, so you can see in here we've got two brand new clarinets. We've got all the packing stuff. Let's get that out of the way. Alright, here they are in their boxes. So these boxes are much longer than the normal boxes we get. Of course, Having a range to low E flat, these BC21 clarinets are going to be a little bit longer, so I'd imagine they have to totally redesign their cases. Okay, here we go. We've got a lot of nice bubble wrap. Get that out of here. Ooh. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a maybe a pencil paste or something. Um, looks like a kind of a care kit. So this is made of like a nice. You know, it's like a rubberized type thing. It feels really super high quality. Uh, of course, these clarinets are like up there in the range of buffet clarinets, so these are among the best that they're offering. So that's shown here in their attention to detail. So we've got, looks like a swab here. And looks like either another swab or maybe a polishing cloth. We've got the world's most expensive pencil. And we've got uh, cork grease. All right, so that's kind of cool. That's a nice little touch. All right, and the next thing here, we've got this right here. So I've never seen this before. It comes in a nice little buffet. This is like kind of a little bag for whatever you want to do. I imagine you probably won't carry your clarinet in it all the time. You've put this clarinet in maybe a double case or something if, if there is one available for this clarinet. Um, but that's nice because you can carry all your stuff in there. Uh, of course the nicer buffet clarinets come with this other bag as well. Um, this is just kind of to protect the case. So we'll take that off. Alright, this is really cool. So this case is actually much smaller than I thought it would be. Um, it's kind of like, just like your standard regular size case for a standard B-flat clarinet. So that's kind of surprising. I'm really excited to open it up. 
Um, but you've got, of course, the BC21 logo. If you guys are like searching online, the BC21, as you can see, is XXI, so we're in Roman numerals. So, you know, some websites might have both. They might say 21, like 21, but some websites might have it listed as XXI. So if you're searching for it, we'll probably put both on our website. I think we've got it on the website already um, as an option, but, um, you know, just consider that when you're searching and, and doing your research on this instrument. So. So, again, I'm super excited about this, so let me just clear off a nice area, open it up and show you guys. I just want to say this case is nice and high quality. Just like I said, it's a high quality instrument, um, so high quality case to go with it. So, all right, here it is. Oh wow, that is super cool. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is the wood is just it's beautiful. Okay, so it's unstained. Um, if you look at the bell here on a lot of buffet's nicer instruments. You may not be able to see that, but on a lot of buffets, nicer instruments, they choose like a little bit lighter wood, really, really beautiful grain to it. And this bell is actually super light. Um, we make a Rice Clarinet Networks bell here, and we, we kind of make a, like a lighter one, and this is very similar in weight. Um, now, to me, this bell looks a little bit shorter, and that probably has something to do with the length of the lower joint, the low E flat that you're going to be able to play. Um, I don't know offhand, but you know. Working with stuff like this, I'm pretty good at, at recognizing, you know, distances and measurements and stuff like that. And this looks about a quarter inch shorter, but I, I could be wrong. Um, the next thing I notice is there are carbon fiber bands on this bell, uh, which is really cool. So you don't have the metal ring. Um, a lot of times that metal ring is great for stability in an instrument, you know, keeping those sockets uh, from cracking. Uh, but when you put a carbon fiber band on, you get rid of a lot of mass. Um, you can allow the either the barrel or the bell to resonate quite a bit more. So they've done that here with the carbon fiber inlay, which is really, really cool. So it'll be nice and strong, but it'll also be nice and light and resonant. One other cool thing that I'm noticing that they did, one of my complaints with the, uh, the new logo, I like the new logo, but a lot of times on some of the instruments they're just stamped on and they very quickly wear off. This is actually engraved pretty deep into the instrument, so that's not going to wear off very easily. It will take years and years to do that, so that's, that's a nice touch right there. Um, also comes with two barrels, as you can see, I'm guessing it's going to be a 65, which is the standard, and a, or sorry, 66, which is the standard, and then also a 65. Um, oh no, this is interesting. So this actually comes with a 65 and a 64, so a little bit shorter than standard, uh, but just like the bell, we've got a nice um, uh, nice engraved logo, we've got nice rings here, uh, so that's really cool, again, really nice and high quality. The wood here is super nice, got a really nice grain to it, um, so when you have a nice grain, you've got less risk of cracking down the road, you've got, um, you know, depending on the grain structure, you can have an instrument that plays a little darker or a little brighter, um, just depending on how tight the grain is. Uh, the color is a good indicator as well as to how good the wood is. Um, so again, the wood here is super high quality, so I'm really excited to play this. this it's interesting that they chose to go with the 65, but, but again, I'm sure it has something to do with either the bore design, um, you know, the, the diameter of the bore, or perhaps you know, the length of this lower joint as well. Um, okay, so now here's the upper joint. So, you know, I'm not sure if you guys can see that too well, but really nice logo here. The BC21 um, is just inlaid with a little bit of, looks like embossed, I don't know what you call it, embossed, I guess, uh, gold on it. Uh, the keywork looks to be very similar to a Tosca keywork. Um, Tosca being like, one of the top of the range instruments, very similar in cost to this, so I would expect that they would use that better uh, key set. Uh, I think the Devine may use that a very similar key set as well. 
could be wrong on some of this, but uh, you know, it looks a little bit Tosca-esque to me in terms of the keys. Uh, so these are silver-plated keys, obviously, and we've got uh, looks like gold-plated posts. Um, seeing as they released this about three or four months ago, I don't remember too much about it except that I thought it was really awesome. I really thought that you guys would be interested in it, and um, so I just, again, immediately just bought two of them to, to be able to offer for you guys. Um, but what I'm seeing here is super high quality, very, very nice. Of course, what we're going to do to both of these instruments, we'll completely take them apart. Uh, we'll do a full professional setup, which means every key gets taken off, every key gets put back on, evaluated for fit, for spring tension, for ring heights, uh, seal, obviously we check all the pads, replace any that are needed. We check to make sure the joints fit together, have adequate clearance, so we'll do quite a bit of work. It's uh, you know between about three and four hours of work that we include. Um, and the price that we're going to list these for, as always, is going to be the minimum sales price from Buffet. Um, I don't know what that is offhand, but it's on our website. Um, but we do include that professional setup, which again is three to four hours of work. You know, We like to say it's worth around 300 to 350. Uh, we'll do that completely for free. So, you know, a lot of these prices that you're seeing here um, are the same as other shops, but we actually include quite a bit more for that, that same amount of money. So, all right, so let's go on to the lower joint. This one does not have a logo on. Traditionally, the logo goes right here, but of course, we've got a lot of key work in the way. So, uh, they've opted to uh, get rid of that. So, uh, looks like a really interesting mechanism here. So we've got the, the low E flat pad is right over here on the right. And this is where you would find like a low F resonance key on uh, like a Tosca. But instead of being closed and then opening to resonate, this is actually open and then when you play the note it closes. And of course it's controlled kind of like a bass clarinet or again like a full bane. Um, it's controlled over here with this low E flat key. So I'm just feeling the key work here. Everything feels pretty good, although, you know, traditionally I find that the, the key work is a little bit heavy, the spring te tension is a little heavy from the factory. And that, again, that's why we go through and we do this professional setup to every instrument. So everything's balanced and, you know, it's perfect when you get it. So, um, but other than that, we've of course got the, the left hand alternate E flat key, which is really nice. Um, just allows you to play the A flat slash E flat on either pinky, which isn't available on every single instrument. So. But uh, yeah, everything looks really nice. Again, the wood is awesome on this joint as well. Uh, I'm sure when they're picking uh, the wood, they do pick probably similar grain structures for, um, for each clarinet so that they match a little bit better. Uh, and then the last thing in here is going to be, of course, you got your mouthpiece cap just for storing your instrument, um, or storing your mouthpiece. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together, and I don't know how the sound quality is going to be. I'm in the office here because the back is very noisy. I know it's a little boomy, but um, hopefully we can kind of determine whether these are as awesome as I think they're going to be. Give me a second to put this together. And I'm going to put on the 65 barrel, and that's the longer of the two because I tend to play a little bit sharper, normally have to pull out. On most instruments, I actually play a 67 barrel, so I'm hoping this isn't too sharp. Those of you with perfect pitch, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tune this or anything, um, so it may be a little bit off, but you know, hopefully you can hear the sound characteristics of it. All right, so here's the mouthpiece. Of course, playing on a Rice Clare Networks Model K mouthpiece, um, which they're awesome if you haven't tried them. Contact us, we'll set up a trial, we can send them out to you. impressions. Okay, so up until now I have not played any of the low E flat. 
that was a low E. I can already hear that the depth, just like I was predicting, the depth of the sound is a whole lot more than you would get on another clarinet. So it just sounds deeper. And you orchestral players, of course, you know, you want to get a B flat and an A to really sound very similar, which is kind of hard to do. The, the A tends to be like a deeper sound. The B flat tends to be a little bit less deep, a little brighter. Um, so it's important to match the two. And that's one of the nice things that I'm hearing here is this has just a little bit more depth uh, kind of similar to an A clarinet. So really, really nice slow register. So let me play a few more, more notes. very focused down to that low E flat, which is really, really nice. Um, so this is a really good instrument. I really like it. Um, you know, as you know, we hand select a lot of instruments, so we'll go through um, quite a few to arrive at, at the few that we end up stocking. Um, and one of the things I was worried about with just ordering these sight unseen is getting an instrument that I wasn't sure I was going to really like, but I really do like this. It has such a nice depth to it. Um, so let me just play a little bit more and just kind of um, give you some feedback as I go. Oh yeah, it's, it's such a rich sound down there. I love it. <laughs> I might actually have to switch to one of these. I, I knew I was going to like it, but I did not think I was going to like it this much. So, it's really good. So, alright, I think that's all the playing, all the, uh, the talking I'm going to do. But, um, so, alright, so if you guys want to try these instruments, uh, again, we're Rice Clarinet Works. I'm Wes Rice. Um, you can reach us at clarinetworks.com. You can give us a call, 410-651-3040. Um, we can set up a trial to where we send these out to you. And we've got two available, so we could potentially send two. You pick your favorite one. Um, if you guys are anywhere close within about you know three or four hours or however long you're willing to drive, uh, you're of course welcome to come to the shop. We've got, in addition to these instruments, we've got a lot of other hand-selected instruments as well. So. Um, you're welcome to come to the shop, even if you're not in the market right now and you just want to try them because these are so unique. Uh, come on down. We'll, we, I'd be happy to have you, happy to have you play the instruments and see what they can do for you. So um, feel free to get in touch if you're at all interested. If you have any questions, uh, we're going to post this to YouTube, so just put your, com your questions, your comments, anything like that below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible, um, but hopefully I've covered kind of everything about the instrument initially. Um, but, you know, real quick, my final thoughts, very high quality in terms of the instrument, the case, the way it's packaged, everything like that. Of course, the most important thing is going to be how it plays, and I really, really like how it plays. So, again, feel free to get in touch if you'd like to try it. Uh, we'd be happy to have you, and um, thanks for watching. <laughs>